Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this cool effect um, in Photoshop. And it's really easy, so let's jump right into it. First off, you obviously need an image of whatever you want. It doesn't have to be a skull. I'm going to rasterize the image because we need to fill up this black space behind it. So I'm just going to, with my rectangular marquee tool, just going to hold down shift to add to my selection, select all the parts that I'm missing, then right click and select content aware fill. Now this will automatically detect what kind of background it's going to fill and then fill it up for you. It usually does a pretty good job with these simple plain backgrounds. Just going to add some black to make sure we're all good here. Right, what we're going to do next is um, I'm going to go to select color range. I'm going to click on the black to sample the black and adjust the fuzziness. I'll go with something like this, press OK, and then I'm going to press Command X and delete my background. This way we're just left with the skull. You obviously don't have to do this if you start off with a PNG or something that doesn't already have a background. Um, so yeah, I'm going to re-add a solid color and make it black, place it in the background. And now we have our skull separated from our background. I'm going to adjust this with press E on my keyboard to grab the eraser tool. Just make sure there's nothing left around this dude. Anyways, I'm going to kind of center him and adjust his sizing. Um, it's basically really simple. The only thing you have to do is just um, change the blending mode to um, something to dissolve, which will usually be under the normal one. And then what I like to do is grab the smudge tool. You can otherwise do it with um, any uh, go to filter and any blur of these blurs. Um, it'll obviously change depending on what effect you use, but I prefer the smudge tool for this type of things. I'm just going to click, wiggle it around, drag it upwards. And as you can see, wherever I'm smudging, it'll leave this like really cool pixelated trail. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to spread it a little bit. I feel it looks really cool. Um, the last thing I usually do is go to the Adjustments tab and just click on Gradient Map. I'm going to add a gradient map over here. Um, I'm going to use one of my freebie ones. Uh, the link is the, in the description below to download them. Um, I've got a couple of free packs and some premium ones. But we're going to use one of these to get a cool gradient effect. I think this works good. You can also edit. For example, let's get rid of the green. Make this a little more yellow. Press OK. When I'm happy with it, I usually just group everything together. I do that by pressing Command G on a Mac. Command J to duplicate it and then Command E to merge everything together um, while keeping a copy of all my separate layers behind here. Because I'm going to go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. I'm going to go with about eight uh, works for me over here. And uh, that's basically it. Like, look at how cool this looks when you do a close-up of it. It's that is dissolve blending mode that does this whenever you smudge your image or um, blur it in any way. And uh, yeah, that's 
basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe if you like the content I make. Um, leave a comment and uh, leave a like. And uh, yeah, that's, that's it. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.